Hi everybody, so we're going to do a flip through of our Winnie the Pooh Little Golden Book and Honey Tree from my paper art swaps. So first off, this is the front. This is how I decorated it. On the side here, we've got like little honey drops and I sewed it in and this is the back. And then I've got a little closure here so I can tie it up for her when I'm done. So let's go ahead and open it up and flip through it. So the first page here is Winnie the Pooh, of course the title page. And I left this page blank because I'm sending her a lot of things that she can fill it with and decorate it with. And I tried not to decorate it too much. And then in here I've got some little embellishments, some of those little bee embellishments that I made. And the page, and an empty page. And this one has just a little tuck spot with some ephemera. And then in here we've got some ephemera in here. And then we've got a little tuck spot with a few pieces of ephemera. And this one I just left as a flap and glued that down there. Because so I thought that was so cute. This one is left blank. This one is left blank. I tea stained it. Some of the single sided paper. I've got two little tuck spots here with ephemera in them. And of course I've got my little, my little bead dangles there. And then I got some blank spaces, blank spaces, and I've got some little ephemera in the little pocket there. And right here I did a little belly band with a piece of ephemera. And the other side with a piece of ephemera in the belly band. And the pretty paper left blank. And I put on some rub-on transfers. That instead of putting them in this pocket, I just put them right there. A nice blank page. A little side tuck spot with some ephemera, book page, and then blank page. And we got some ephemera in this pocket too. I tried to include ephemera in every pocket where I could because I thought that would be fun. And there's some more ephemera in this one. And then we've got this page. We got a little tuck spot on the bottom with some ephemera. Then there's some ephemera in this pocket. And then right here, we got a little tuck spot over here, and some plain, some plain pretty paper. I decided to make a pocket here, and I included some of these cards I found at the, I think it was the DI, yep, this one says fur, I thought that'd be fun, and these ones don't say fur, I thought they all said fur, but they don't, they have the pretty picture. And then right here, I've got a cute little stamp set with this little flap, piece of ephemera, my cute little danglies again. And then we turn that page. We've got an empty page so you can decorate more of that tea dyeing. We've got a little pocket here. It's got it's got a little piece of emph some ephemera in there. And this is that little one that we just made that will go right there. And I think I'm just going to leave it like that. And where the hole was, I put Winnie the Pooh when he's in his little jar eating his honey. And then we've got some ephemera in here. And then we got a little tuck spot here and a few pieces of ephemera. And then we got a piece of ephemera I glued there. And right here I put in some die cuts that she can use. And I've got a little tuck spot there if she needs it. And then plain paper. And then right here I put, the hardest part is what to leave behind. It's time to let go. So I thought that that would be super cute. And I hope she loves it as much as I did enjoy making it. And I'll probably write her a little note just telling her that there is stuff in every single pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and tie that up for her. A nice little bow. And this is just some, some seam binding that I bought up at the, my local craft store. And it's so much fun. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing the little... Um, flip through walk through of my little Winnie the Pooh for my little golden book for paper art swaps. Thank you so much for watching. You are so kind and you, yes you, have a good day. Bye bye now.